Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For those who don't know, my name is Tanya and I love to talk about everything to do with beauty. And today I'm going to do my empties with you. So if you don't know what empties are, it's basically everything that I've used in the last month or two. This is probably the last two months actually because I didn't do an empties last month because I just didn't seem to use anything and then all of a sudden this month it's just gone boom. So anyway, um, this is, what are we in now? May. So what's before May? January, February, March, April and May. So this is April and May's box. Doesn't look like a hell of a lot that's in there, but I'm not rich. So this is what I've used and I can give you a little mini review of everything that's in here um, and let you know whether I'd buy it or not again. So if you're interested in um, knowing what I think about these products, stay tuned. All right guys, welcome back. So let's get started. I want to talk about the makeup products that I've got first because I've only got a few products. So let's start with this Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio Setting Spray. Now, I love this and I didn't even think that this had been out for too long, but I just looked for this everywhere on Priceline, Big W Kmart Target, you know, all of those places where um, they sell Maybelline products and I can't find this anywhere. But um, this was a setting spray and look, at I don't think it's like your the best setting spray that you could get but because I do put a little bit of powder on to set some of my makeup um, I do like to use something like this to sort of spray my face and just sort of I don't know melt everything together so to speak and get rid of that powdery residue and I really really enjoyed this so I'm actually quite devastated if I can find this again I definitely will buy it but um, if not I guess I'm going to have to go on to something else I do have a Mario Badesco spray that I want to try so maybe I'll move on to that and um, let me know if you guys can still find this anyway because I loved this stuff the next makeup product that I'm um, getting rid of, it's not actually finished, it's this um, Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick and um, I've had it for a while and it's in the shade 045 Pink Me Up, I don't know whether you can see that and um, I don't know, I just, I don't really like the formula, um, I don't even like the smell, like it's supposed to smell like some sort of sweet cake but I don't know, I just don't like it and um, yeah, it just doesn't go very well on my lips, so I'm actually getting rid of that. Um, I don't even think I know anyone who would enjoy that, and it's a bit manky anyway, so... Ugh. The next product that I have is almost empty. I'm classing it as empty. It's a Thin Lizzy 6-in-1 um, Professional Powder in the shade Light. So, um, you know, it's just one of those sort of things. And, um... Look, it's, it's, it's almost done. There's a lot of pan there, but um, I'm getting rid of it because I'm enjoying more matte style um, bronzers at the moment. So I'm sort of not really into that shimmery sort of bronze. Um, and if I do want the shimmery bronze, I'm really enjoying my um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So I'm going to say this one's done and get rid of that one. And the last thing that you can kind of call cool makeup, not really, it's actually makeup remover. It's this Clinique 2-in-1 Cleansing Micellar Gel Plus Light Makeup Remover. <sighs> I, I don't like this. I, um, I don't know, it just didn't, it didn't do it for me. Like, I use a, um, a makeup um, cleansing oil and that works really, really well for me. It's gentle on my face. This one, I just didn't think that it really did anything for me. Like, it, it did move a little bit of product, but not enough product for me. And um, I wouldn't repurchase this one, but I do know a lot of people love this one. So give it a go. Um, usually you can pick these up in, um, like, sort of, like, packages that they have occasionally. I think twice a year they do these little gift things and these come in them. So, um, yeah, check it out if, you, if you're going to do that. But I don't personally like this and I wouldn't personally repurchase it. So... Let's move on to more body, and I have two products by Dove. This one here is the Triple Moisturising Nourishing Body Wash, and um, body wash, and I love this stuff. I have super, super sensitive skin, so um, as much as I would love to use some really fruity um, body washes and stuff like that, I have to be very, very careful with what I use, and I don't want to be using like um, your no scented ones because I really do enjoy a scent. I, I, I like it, okay? I um, I want to feel clean and to me sometimes smell equals clean and whatever. I love this. It does have a scent. It doesn't irritate me. It Usually I can get it on special. I always repurchase this and um, I probably always will, so love it. The next Dove product that I have is also a winner for me. I sweat like a man. 
probably not something I should admit, but I do. I sweat like a man and I've tried all the deodorants on the shelf and, and even ones in the past. My mum used to get me one that was called Mum. I don't even know if it's still around, but it was, it, it seemed to make my BO worse and, oh, anyway. I tried roll-ons, I tried spray-ons, I tried um, antiperspirants, I, oh, body sprays. I tried showering, you know, three times a day instead of two. Um, I don't even like doing that because if I shower too often, then my whole body breaks out with eczema. It just gets irritated. It's a long story, even if it's a cool shower. But um, this Dove deodorant is the only one that I can put on that not only if I put on before I sweat, it will pretty much stop me from sweating for most of the day. But even if I have sweat, I can still put this on and it pretty much masks what was already there. So, um... Yeah, Dove Original. Absolutely love it. Will repurchase it. I know I actually went through more than one of these, but I just kept one because I don't like to hoard rubbish. So I probably went through, oh, uh, four, I guess, roughly, yeah, in two months, May maybe five. <laughs> anyway, I've got them all over the house and um, I use a bit here and I use a bit there. And so I, I, they all just sort of got used all at the same time. So anyway, love this one. Alright, let's move on. I got through a moisturiser and I don't hate this moisturiser. It is a gorgeous moisturiser but it's just not enough for me. So um, I would use this under the makeup or something like that um, because it's got SPF in it. But this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Perfecting Moisturising Day Cream with SPF 15. And um, the, the one thing that I loved about this the most is that it smells delicious. And yeah, I would repurchase this if I saw it on sale. I'd definitely grab it because it's a nice light moisturiser. And sometimes I just forget to put my regular moisturiser on, which is fantastic. I love my regular moisturiser. But if I see this one, I would prefer to put this one underneath my makeup because I don't put a sunscreen on even though I know I should. But it's just one extra product that if I put on my skin, I could possibly break out in a rash or have some skin irritations and stuff like that. And I'm not outside a lot, guys. You know, I really am a bit of a homebody. Don't get me wrong, I do like to be out of the house, but I'm inside more often than not. So, um, yeah, I just don't think to put it on. So this is great. I love it. I would repurchase this. It's not my everyday, like it's not my holy grail moisturiser, but I do love it. And I think it would be phenomenal for those who have normal skin and um, even slightly dry. Alright, I do have a disappointing product for me when it comes to the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula and that's this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Skin Perfecting Ultra Hydrating Serum. I haven't used much of this but I used enough of it to know that I didn't like it, I didn't like the way that it felt on my skin, um, it felt like it wasn't actually sinking in, it felt um, a bit tacky and I just didn't see any results with it so um, I, I think I'm going to hand this one on, like it's three quarters full and it's not old so I think I might hand this one on, so I'm definitely getting rid of it out of my stash, so. Alright, what else we got? Ah, I have an Avon product for you who don't know what Avon is, is they're a company that were in Australia and a few other places around the world, they're no longer in Australia and I brought their Anu Aqua Youth Eye Cream and I can't say that I loved this. Um, unfortunately, I mean, I brought this part of a pack, it came with a moisturiser, um, an eye cream, and I think that might have been it, I don't know, but anyway, I didn't like this, it, um, it didn't do anything for me, it was just like a moisturiser, but a very bad moisturiser, personally for me, and I would never repurchase this, even if I could get a hold of a one again, but maybe it'll work for you, let me know if it works for you, it's just not my thing. Next I have a packet of What Not Natural Organic Purifying Facial Wipes for Oily and Combination Skin. Now I don't have oily or combination skin but I got this in a Bella box and um, these weren't horrible but they're just sort of not my thing either. I've used wipes that I much like better um, but they were definitely drenched, um, not dripping wet but they had enough product in it to work and um, they smelled nice and uh, let me see, they're vegan Gluten-free, 100% biodegradable, which is fantastic. Certified organic ingredients, not tested on, on animals, and Australian-owned. So that's definitely a good one. Check it out, guys. These were nice, but like I said, I've tried better. All right. I have a perfume, and I can't say this perfume. I'm going to put it here. Maybe you can see it. Yeah? Let me try and read it. It is the Aqua di Palma Blue Mediterraneo. 
that's all I can say. The rest of it is Chinotto di Liguria. I don't know, but it's a perfume and it smells gorgeous. Like, I love this. It, um, it gave me, like, um, jasmine vibes. I don't know, jasmine and citrusy. I don't know, but it was absolutely beautiful and I probably would pre-purchase this. Um, like I said, it was just a little sample. I don't know where the little thingamajiggy is. I just kept that, so I would repurchase that. I did enjoy it, so... Alright, let's go on to another moisturiser. I have a sample here from Dr. Barbara? Dr. Barbara Strum. It's a Micellar Cosmetics face cream made in Germany. I don't remember anything about this, which means that it couldn't have been too fantastic. If, I, if it doesn't stick in my mind, then it was just meh. So, um, yeah. I probably wouldn't repurchase this because I don't remember enjoying it, so, huh. Yeah, but I mean, look, these samples, I absolutely love getting samples because then I can test these things out without having to go and buy the full thing and then just not loving it, so, love samples. This one obviously didn't do it for me, though. Next up, I have two more samples, and I got to test this one a little bit more because I had two samples of this, and this is the Nivea Oil in Lotion Cherry Blossom and Jojoba Oil. So, um... What I can tell you about these is they, hmm, they smell really strong. Yeah, it's just, it's not my thing. It's very florally, and I wanted to say it smelled more like rose, um, and I'm not into rose, but yeah, look, I enjoyed it. I put these on my legs, and it, it was okay, but I wouldn't go out and buy it. I was never really a big fan of Nivea um, moisturizers anyway. They are very, very strong, and sometimes they have a tendency to irritate my skin, um, but in saying that, they're not horrible. It was nice to get these. Um, I got this through a black box, so um, I did enjoy them, but I just I wouldn't go out and buy, buy it myself, so this is a no for me. I have another body moisturiser, and this is the Palm Olive Oil Infusion Body Moisturiser Rose and Macadamia Oil. If you heard what I just said before, it's got rose in it. I did, wasn't a fan, so I don't smell the macadamia oil at all. Um, yeah, it was okay, but I wouldn't go out and buy it purely because it's got that rose smell and I just don't like that, so. Let's get on to face masks. I've got a few, so I have this one from Kmart. I have tried this before. I got another one. It was gifted to me. And um, I've got to say that I don't mind this oatmeal and aloe, aloe one. Um, I mean, it's not a miracle cure by far. It's just sort of like sit back and force yourself to sort of relax. You know, I live a, a very intense life. Even though I don't do a lot, we've got a lot of people in the one house. And it's nice just to grab a cup of coffee, slather this on your face. Yes, it looks like somebody put porridge on your face. But it feels really, really nice, and my skin is soft afterwards, so yeah, it's perfectly fine. I think it's only like $2.50 for one of these, so I mean, you can't go wrong if you just want to sort of sit down and chill. If you want to force yourself to sit down and chill, this one's nice, so I would purchase that one again. The next one, I've actually got two of them, and that is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Coconut Water Hydrating Sheet Mask. So, what a mouthful. Um... It's all it. And it's got hyaluronic acid in it as well. Listen, um, this wasn't horrible. It was, it was okay. I think if I recall correctly, the mask was a little bit too big. It went up in my hair, which annoyed me a little bit. But, um, I don't remember anything really bad about this. I did tingle a little bit. Um, I think my biggest disappointment with this is that, that it wasn't the cocoa butter formula. And I personally think that the cocoa butter formula would have been far, far more superior than the coconut water, um... I don't really like a lot of coconut products. They can be a little bit too chemical for me, you know, smelling chemical. Um, but I, I really do hope, Palmers, if you're listening, bring out the cocoa butter formula and put it in a sheet mask. I would definitely be up to try that and I would so do a review on it. Um, but yeah, look, I, I would repurchase this again, but I really, 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 really hope they bring out the cocoa butter formula. So these were nice and they were cheap enough and they were on special as well. So I think these ones were under $5 and um, yeah, not bad. Let's go on to another one. The Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kinder Skin Radiance Boosting Sheet Mask with Naturally Derived Fruit Enzymes. Why do these masks have such long freaking names? Like, just call it a sheet mask. Simple sheet mask, you know? There's nothing simple about the name. And to be honest with you, there's nothing really simple or kind of skin about this one. Um, I did enjoy it, but I did have tingling, I did have redness, and I have sensitive skin, and I... 
I've used masks before that don't um, say that they're for sensitive skin and I've had a better result than this one here and um, although it was nice, it, it felt nice, it scared me a little. When I took it off and I realised that I'd had the reaction, I had to wait it out to see whether or not it was going to go down. Unfortunately for me, it did go down but I would not repurchase this one again. Um, just because it scared me a little bit and if my skin was in a worse condition I don't know whether um, that could have been worse for me so my skin's in a pretty good condition right now and um, it was able to recover from that but yeah it's, it needs to be a little bit kinder to skin so yeah we have another Kmart mask and this one's a total fail these are eye masks so this is the OXX catnip lavender and aloe Lavender and Aloe Vera Extract Sheet Mask, and this is a three pack, and these are utter useless crap. Um, they were in a like a cheap bin, like a uh, discount bin, and there's a reason, and stay away from them if you've seen them. They are annoying, you stick them on your eyeballs, you close your... It's, they do nothing. Like, they're, they're not very wet. They look wet in the packet, but they're not. It's kind of like um, a firm... Um, Paper, moist paper towel, probably harder than that, like a a drenched sort of soft cardboard, I guess. Um, they were they were absolutely horrible. I wouldn't recommend them. They came in all different shapes and sizes. They did nothing. They were horrible. Never ever ever recommending those. And I only have one left, and this one here scared the crap out of me as well, guys. This is the Skin Vitals um, Step Two Bright Cloth Sheet Mask in the Glow Packet. And, um, this one, um, oh god, it felt so good, it felt so good on the face, and the, um, the cloth mask was, so, it was the best quality mask that I've worn on my face yet, like, it moulded to every part of my skin, it didn't move when I was talking, it felt good, it felt, um, it felt cooling, and I, I loved it trying this mask. I loved wearing this mask. The only um, little bit of uh, intimidation that I had is when I took it off, this part here was all pink, so I did have a little bit of reaction to it, but I don't necessarily think it was a reaction like the other reactions that I've had in the sense that my skin didn't like it. I think that it was the um, the product working because it pretty much went away um, instantly after I rubbed it in so unlike the other ones it took a few more hours to actually rub in I mean uh, took a few more hours for the skin to sort of calm down this one didn't take any longer than half an hour and the next day my skin was I can't even explain it to you like it was it was soft it was it was firm but soft you get it but yeah, no, I absolutely love this. I'd like to try more. They've got um, quite a few different types. Um, excuse me, I need a drink. So <laughs> I got my coffee here. So, mm. yeah, they do have several different um, types of sheet masks, and I'd love to try some more of those. Um, I am a little bit intimidated, like I said, about the fact that I did have a little bit of reaction, but like I said, it went away pretty quickly. Um, and that was after that was only a day or two after I tried that. Um, that simple mask so um, I'm gonna try it again anyway I know that that simple mask my skin was in fairly good condition and when, when I tried this skin vitals one it was a couple of days after I tried that simple one so maybe that had something to do with it but I'm definitely gonna try it again I definitely love the quality of that mask I definitely loved the way that it made me feel while I was wearing the mask and I definitely love the results that it gave me after I'd finished wearing the mask and the redness had gone away so it's a, it's a double thumbs up or if not a triple thumbs up in my book so um that's pretty much everything in my empties bin for the last two months guys so if you liked what you saw go ahead give me a thumbs up it lets everybody else see the video um, or see that it's available and more people get to see it um, if you haven't already feel free to subscribe but uh, once again like I always say don't forget to check the bell because if you don't check the bell you won't get alerted to all of my notifications and um, if you don't like to sit on YouTube all the time I'm on all these other social media, so I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, um, I have a vlog, not a vlog, I have a blog, um, oh, what else? Yeah, pretty much that's it, yeah? 
Most of the time I'm on Instagram though, so if I'm not here, I'm usually on Instagram or on Facebook, so catch me there guys. Anyway, thanks so much for your time, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've tried any of those other products and you've had a different um, sort of reaction or, or you like something that I don't, please remember this is how these all worked on me and I appreciate all your feedback. Drop me a line below, let's have a chat and um, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys!